Hi, Sanyam. Welcome once again on our weekly session. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, Sanyam, uh, today uh, I think we are going to discuss uh, about a very, very relevant and important topic and that is mailing the professor. Sanyam, mm -hmm. we always say that uh, foreign admission may, if you want to make entire application very smart, then mailing professor is a very important part of that. So, what uh, student understand by that is that we should mail more professor. But what yes, still is missing as of now is they do not understand the gravity of content written in the mail, including the content and what do you write in the mail. That is very, very important. Right. Uh, so correct me if I'm wrong that uh, if you draft a very good mail and drop 10 professor, maybe the probability of one or two responding back will be higher than if you don't draft it nicely and mail hundreds of professors. Right. Yeah. So our yeah. today's this entire interaction will be you will be telling us what do you mean by a good mail written to a professor and entire body of that mail which is written, how we can uh, divide that and understand that particular format. Yes, sir. So I will take over from here. Uh, what what I can do is uh, I will be suggesting and recommending some mail, uh, mail content for uh, the professors like uh, for the students who, so that they can mail to professors but i will tell you like first i will tell you the uh general points what you should include in your mail body and second uh, we can come to the format so uh, i think uh, uh, there are many different ways to email professors like as we itself in your pd i have three different styles and uh, suggestions for the students to prepare the mail body right so the one that i prefer and suggest students to divide the mail body into four parts where first and second part remains same throughout the throughout the different professors when you email them. But uh, however, um, third and fourth part has to be different always. First and second paragraph can remain same because that is just part of introduction and your uh, your personal credentials. But third and fourth pa paragraph should be uh, email specific or uh, professor specific because uh, uh, third paragraph you will try to align your professor's work and your work and that is important to do, do to do because a professor has to find some similarity and a symbiotic relationship sh that should evolve and start between you and professor so both of you should have interest in each other right then only the professor will read rest of the email so then only things will progress and in final paragraph you may talk about the university country Or uh, maybe just about the professor history or anything according to the needs of require needs and requirement. But uh, somehow this is easier methodology. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, if we talk about like sample email, uh, for let's say some there is some student from M Tech, okay, and uh, he or she is in third third semester of. Uh, their masters right so they they have to prepare email very soon so if they are starting right now then they what they can do is like they can start their uh, email with dear professor dear doctor or uh, dear professor xyz dear professor dear doctor xyz then mm -hmm. they can uh, they can channelize or they can uh, you know make a skeleton of the email itself where mm -hmm. in the first paragraph it should only include your year of study specialization university name maybe grades and recent recent achievements they can include in first paragraph then second paragraph what they can do is their experience timelines of uh, cr critical timelines whether it is about their experience in any company or any organization or any institution mm -hmm. then uh, then they can cover research areas and topics that uh, they may have persuaded before right mm -hmm. So in the same way, they can continue in the third paragraph that uh, like try to read what is the research area that professor is doing in their lab and how mm -hmm. the student can ben benefit or be fit for that lab so that where, where you know, you can, uh, where the student can show some interest or fitness criteria that matches to the professor requirements because professor has to you know find the need of your of you so that they can hire you very quickly this way you have to convince the professor that the field of study that you the student is pursuing and the professor itself is pursuing is same and uh, yeah that is a perfect fit for okay. the for the professor okay Sanam, i'm going to ask you a uh, very precisely couple of things here please tell me what should be the title what is the best way to write title 
yes so title in general what students do is like uh, uh, what i have seen like student with having good uh, you know good acceptance ratio they they title as like a a, a, a phd student in your uh, a phd student in uh, requesting for a phd student in your lab or like uh, uh, requesting uh, for phd position in your lab right yes yes something like that yes mm-hmm. so th- this is how like students can sub- make a subject but they should not include like uh, uh, looking for phd positions or something like that i mean mm-hmm. these are not good good type good subject to mm-hmm. write down okay acha aur mail kitni lambi honi chahiye sir name agar aap uh, lines ya words ki form mein batao sir each paragraph if if we talk about four paragraphs then each paragraph should not exceed more than five sentences a sentence mein 20 word agar rakh le to 100 yes. word to 400 ha that's yes, yes, yes 500 words max maybe acha should we uh highlight some of the words so that wo pura padhte padhte us pe focus jyada jaye something like that yes sir yes sir the the things that i you know told already in our last conversation that uh, there are some keywords you know that you should worry about like uh, your year of study your specialization your university name these should be highlighted and your research areas that you pursued it before these mm-hmm. can be highlighted Mm-hmm. and attachments if you talk about att- attachments yes. then yes. only only two or uh, two files can be attached and uh, you can say that if there are more documents required you can upload in future but two attachments that has to be cv and your transcripts that's it acha aise agar mere ko hundreds and thousands of professors ko aise mail dalni hai to wo sari mails mein thoda thoda change to lana padega yes so i need to make changes so how many i mean if i made drafted one mail to to how many professors exactly same mail i can send thoda bahut matlab naam to change karna padega professor ka yes sir yes sir but you know what i can suggest here is like uh, if if student is you know uh, making a skeleton let's say they they are making a skeleton for the mail body uh, mm-hmm. first and second paragraph as i said will remain same but what they can do is they can you know put some blank spaces in third and fourth paragraph where mm-hmm. uh, they can you know uh, edit the uh, edit the name of the professor or the name of the university and these mm-hmm. can be quickly changed and just uh, email to the professor okay wonderful yeah. so that was the format of a mail and uh, this is how it is to be done i think that is we summarize this all sanam so yes, now sir. i end up the session here only and uh, i uh, thank you once again and you keep popping up uh, uh, every time uh, every week for some very relevant video right sanam thank yes, you sir. thank you